Hello, this is Neha Sharma and today I'm going to give a presentation on ratio analysis. For the purpose of planning our investment, we're analyzing various different companies, the ratios of various different companies under two different industries. Now, our two different industries are aircraft and defense industry and software and database industry. Now, there are five companies under aircraft and defense industry. The first one is Lockheed Martin, Heiko Corp, Easter Line Tech, Curtis Wright Inc., and Griffon Inc. Now, what is the goal of a management? And what are the factors to be considered to analyze any ratio? First, the goal of any management is to maximize the shareholders' equity. And shareholders are at a maximum risk. So more risk demands for more return. Let's look at the risk-return diagram. Here in the diagram, our x-axis shows the risk and y-axis shows the return. We can see that the shareholders are, are, are at higher risk. So they demand or, for a higher return. Now, the key factor is a return on equity. Return on equity is considered one of the most important accounting ratios in analyzing a company's performance. Therefore, we are going to analyze different, five different companies' ROE over the period of five years. The graph shows the ROE of each of the five different companies over the period of five years from 2010 to 2014. We can see at all the time the ROE of Lockheed Martin has been the highest, followed by Griffon Inc. and Curtis Wright and Easterline are about the same, which makes Lockheed Martin to be a clear winner. But only having a high ROE is sufficient. Let's look at the measures of ROE, which is an ROA, an equity multiplier. ROA stands for return on asset, measuring the profit and asset efficiency of a com company. The higher the ROA, the better it is considered for a company. Now, equity multiplier is a measure of leverage. And sometimes, equity multiplier can drive our ROE, which is, not a, which, which is not always a good thing, depending on the return. We know that leverage magnifies gain and leverage magnifies losses. Now, these two are the ROA, which is return on asset table, and equity multiplier table for the five different companies. We can see that the Lockheed Martin is leading when it comes to return on asset followed by Hago in core, Easter Line Tech, Curtis Wright, and Griffon Inc. Similarly, equity multiplier of Lockheed Martin is the highest compared to the other four industries. Now, from the table, we found out that both return on asset, ROA, and equity multiplier is driving Lockheed Martin's ROE, which is return on equity. Though the equity multiplier for Lockheed Martin is high, but we figured out that their return on equity is very high, according to the graph we looked at earlier. So in this case, it is not a very bad thing, because leverage has magnified gains. High ROE is better, as it indicates asset has been used efficiently to generate profit. And now, we'll look at time interest earned ratio, and w which is 16.4 for Lockheed Martin, which indicates that the company is able to pay its interest expense 16.4 times with the return. Now, there are other ratios that needs to be considered while analyzing any company. The first one is PE ratio, which is price to earning ratio. Price to earning ratio is lower for Lockheed Martin than any other company, which means the prices of shares are undervalued. 
according to uh, or for the investor, it is a very good thing as we are investing. And market to book ratio is slightly high for Lockheed Martin, indicating that the company is earning a high return on its asset. Economic value added for Lockheed Martin is higher and is the only positive among all of the other companies, indicating that the return exceeded the predicted expectations. That means Lockheed Martin is the best option to invest among the five different companies under this industry. Now, let's move on to database and software industry, under which we have five different competitive companies. Firstly, Interlink Holding Inc., Akamai Inc., VMware, Palo Alto Network, and Tipco Software. This is our ROA uh, data, a graph, for our five companies under database software. We can see that VMware and Akamai are almost similar when it comes to ROE, followed by Tipco Software and Interlinks and Palo Alto in negative, which is not very considered very good. Now, VMware and Akamai have a similar ROE. Let's consider the measure for ROE to analyze more. ROE, as, as earlier, is given by ROA times equity multiplier. ROE for Akamai is driven by ROA, whereas ROE for VMware is driven by leverage. Here in this case, we prefer Akamai as their ROE is similar with a less leverage, less leverage burden. Well, Akamai can meet its interest obligation by 26.8 times. Now, the other findings and other ratios that that needs to be considered is PE ratio for Akamai, which is lower than the rest of the companies, which makes it favorable for the investors to invest. Similarly, the market to book ratio for Akamai is 3.14, which is satisfactory, making it safe to invest. Economic value added for Akamai is slightly low, which is common for high tech companies because it depends on various reasons or factors. Now, under this industry, Akamai is the better option to invest. Now, we are analyzing two different industries and the companies that we have picked under these two different industries, Lockheed Martin versus Akamai. Well, it depends on a various investors on what kind of industry do they prefer. But in this case, I prefer Lockheed Martin because one, because of more asset compared to the software companies or high-tech companies, as it is a manufacturing industry, and less risk as assets can be sold if needed, or if if company goes bankrupt. Greater income with the lesser resources in future. Less competition, especially from the new competitors, which is called high barriers of entry. Therefore, my pick is Lockheed Martin, under aircraft and defense industry. Therefore, this was the presentation on financial ratios of different industry and different companies under those industry. I hope you enjoyed and find it useful. Thank you.